Yeah, talk about Jimmy Butler, man. Just to put it in context, Jimmy Butler overall had a great playoff run. Started out against the Milwaukee Bucks, got them up out the way. Although Giannis missed some games, uh, to to beat the overwhelming favorite in such manner is an incredible feat. And throughout that series, Jimmy Butler was playing all world level. Uh, I can't think of a lot of other players who, in that same situation, would have been able to pull off that feat. But if I'm being completely honest, the Hemi Buckets, the Jimmy B Butler, the Michael Jordan son, I think that was over after that series, man. Against the Knicks, he averaged 25 points. He got the job done, right? Good. They won, so nothing to say. Against the Celtics, he averaged 25, 6, and 7 on 42% shooting. But hey, they won. But was he all world? Nah, that's just good. That's all star level. But in my opinion, after, after the Milwaukee Bucks series, I was ready to put him in my top five, quite frankly. And I'm not the only one. That was the, that, that was the narrative. Jimmy Butler top five. Is Jimmy Butler the best player in the world? Is Jimmy Butler the best player in the playoffs? I didn't go that far. But hey, he was definitely up there with the best players in the playoffs, in my opinions. Bringing it on both hands of the floor. The leadership. Doing it with less than others and everything. So, if I'm going to put you above a lot of other players who got slandered when they lost... You got to do the same to you, Jimmy Butler, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In the finals, averaging 22 points is unacceptable. As the best player on your team, you can't go out there and drop 22 points a game. I can't recall a single time, a single game where I was like, okay, Jimmy Butler is putting the Miami Heat on his back. He's like, yeah, let's go. I'm going to carry y'all. I need just one of you guys to come with me. Never. It's okay to, to lose to the Denver Nuggets because clearly the team was outmatched. But the Denver Nuggets are not a defensive juggernaut by a long shot. They're just good on defense. And in some games, they light you up. You had a game, you had 13 points. Four rebounds, four assists. Can't have that. Games, uh, game, game, um, game five, with your life on the line, entering the fourth quarter, you was two for 12. A lot of people were saying, yeah, Jimmy Butler hurt, or Jimmy Butler did, Jimmy Butler that. But then you have 13 points in the fourth quarter. So that shows me that you could have been out here if you've been aggressive. You could have asserted yourself in this game or throughout the series. But for whatever reason, this didn't happen. And yeah, again, we got to hold Jimmy Butler to the same standards as the other superstars in this league. If LeBron James does a, plays a series like that in the finals... We, would, we wouldn't bring that up forever. If Kevin Durant goes out there and plays like this in the finals, it's over for him. Same with Steph Curry. Same with Joel Embiid. Same with Luka. Same with, with whoever. Jason Tatum, even. So, yeah, man. G Jimmy Butler, that is just not good enough. And for me, there is no excuse. If he's out there, he's healthy. And he was talking all that stuff, too, in the playoffs in the past. Like, uh, stealing out all for celebration. I loved it. That was funny. But... Everybody's tough when they're up, right? So you did that. Answering the series, it was like, yeah, we're going to get four wins. I always, I always knew we're going to get a championship. Every time after the losses, you would come to the presser and be like, yeah, we're not worried. We got them. We're we, we going to play harder and we're going to figure it out. That's, that's, the, that's the right thing to say. I, I know it's not supposed to go out there and say we're going to lose, but you got to back it up on the floor. You got to show me something. And even for a two-way player, Jamal Murray was going off. <laughs> And most of the time, you was out there guarding him. So if you're not offensive, uh, if you're not uh, effective on the offensive end, and you're not defensive on the defensive end, then what are you doing, Jimmy Butler? And now I'm starting to wonder, man, can Jimmy Butler be the best player on the championship team? Because I don't know. Like the Denver Nuggets, they, they won in every kind of ways. The Denver Nuggets had the games in which the team got them there. Like I can think of game four, for example, where Jokic and Murray were ordinary at best. And they still won. Why? Because they had the team. So a game like that, you lose that Jimmy Butler is okay. 
but you didn't have that superstar game. That game you was like, yeah, let me let me win. Like Nikola Jokic, I didn't in game five. Like Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, I didn't game three. You didn't have a single performance like that out there. I can argue you were the second best player on that team for 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 the finals. Then Bamadibo was out actually doing a better job out there than you, and this just can't happen. I disagree with that, but some people thought that you shouldn't even be in Eastern Conference Finals MVP. I disagree with that, but the fact that is that even a conversation, given the roster that you had, that, that just showed that you wasn't out there doing your job. Dominating. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to pump the brakes on Jimmy Butler, man, because my assessment of him was like, yeah, the man is not trying in the regular season, but at least in the playoffs, he's going to bring it every time. And for me, it's okay to lose in the finals. Uh, as long as you perform. But when you lose in the finals, if I'm going to, to consider that it's not a blemish on your resume, you got to be great. And you weren't great. You was just okay. And yeah, that's all I got to say about Jimmy Butler, man. This is, this is disappointing because um, I, feel, I feel like had Jimmy Butler played up to his potential, played like he did in Milwaukee, we would still be out there um, having your entertaining finals. I still would have picked Denver, but at least the, the, this would have been a long series. Because people was out there talking about Denver losing that game too because of a lack of effort. Not because of the Miami Heat, because the Denver Nuggets took the full of the gas. Coach Mike Pelon called him out because, yeah, they didn't try. And this is how you got your win. And, yeah, this is, this is just not good enough, man. I, I, I had better hopes for the Miami Heat. I didn't care whether the Nuggets or the Heat won, but I just wanted a competitive finals. And I, I feel like Jimmy Butler, man, you just got to be better. I know the role players were bad and everything, but it starts up top. And a up top wasn't, wasn't good enough, man. So, yeah, that's my take about Jimmy Butler, man. Give me your thoughts. Get in the conversation. Were you happy with Jimmy Butler's performance uh, after the Milwaukee Bucks series? Uh, Were you not? Tell me why. And, yeah, appreciate you guys for checking me out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.